Okay, here we are again. And I'm looking at the computer screen to see if I'm in the middle. Okay. I just ate some peanuts. I hope the piece <laughs> I hope they don't show up in the uh, twi between my teeth. Okay. So I'm going to continue um my glasses have re reflections and I think it's better without them. Well. With 11 years old, I, uh, I told my grandmother, who was living next door, that I wanted to become a preacher when I got old or big. Okay. So, <laughs> this idea of becoming a preacher, I guess, stayed with me pretty much my whole life. I remember graduating from high school and several adults, or the fathers of friends of mine, asking me, hey, Don, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I remember replying, saying, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the ministry. Yeah, I had no idea how that was going to happen. But, uh, well, that's another story. <laughs> I took a big detour just to make it short but I'll tell you about that at some other point let's get on with this here uh, I'm going to talk now until about the age of 15 <coughs> okay um, yeah I was about 12 years old in the 6th grade I think I remember going to the school bus every morning and I had to go through this little gate on, on this path through some bushes and trees but I remember going through this gate and at the same time talking to God and, and like praying and, and asking God to help me to walk in his way um, today you know yeah. <laughs> then uh, <coughs> excuse me at the age of 13 about 13 I was attending this this Baptist church in town um, with a lot of some a lot of friends of mine we were in the youth group and um, they'd have a uh, an altar call at the end of every church service you know where you can go to the front and accept Jesus as your personal savior that was always the, the altar call and I wanted to go one time to the front but I didn't trust myself I was too scared to get up in front of all the people you know so I stayed in my pew but because I didn't go I started having doubts and I doubted doubted if I was even saved and these doubts went with me for years and years you know 20 years after that I was still doubting but these doubts also made me always think on God and not wanting to do evil or bad things or that influenced me and I was always wanting just I was wanting to be like everybody else and have fun and on the one side, you know, and do crazy things. But I was aware of this of God and all this uh, <coughs> yeah. So anyway, um this little section probably won't be so long because I'm already at the age of thirteen. Yeah, good. Um, at the age of 15, I uh, I was experience, uh, experiencing a a roller coaster ride of um, emotions. I guess that's normal for a teenager, but I didn't want that anymore. And I remember praying to God. I said, God. I want 
stability. Give, please help me to just be every day the same, you know, not be one day depressed and one day excited and or whatever, you know. Uh, so, yeah, a couple of days later. I received a um, a daily daily devotional for teenagers that my cousin, who was and is a Christian, sent to me from Indiana. That's a whole other state, you know. For you that don't know that, that that are living in Europe or another part of the world, that came to me and. Um, that was like an answer to prayer. Uh, that was like pr probably my first big, very important answer to prayer because that changed my life. And I devoured this book. I went through it two times. And I under um, underscored, I underlined everything in the Bible. And I read everything just, you know, several times. And um, I had such a, a hunger for God's Word, for the Bible, and for a relationship with God. I wanted to know everything. I wanted to <laughs> to grow. And I remember my father taking me to um, to uh, to a Bible, uh, to a bookstore, and he bought me a new Bible. Yeah. The Living Bible. And I went through that like crazy, and I I ate it up, you know. <clears throat> yeah, actually, that that brings us to the end of uh, of what I wanted to say. Um, did I mention that I had? By this time, I had, al had already experienced, you know, life in the Episcopal Church, life in the Baptist Church. Um, did I say already that my grandparents that lived next door, they gave me a, a King James Version Bible, and they wrote in it, and they prayed for me that I would find God's way and go on God's way. And that was dated 1971. So I was, um, yeah, I was born in '63. So you can figure out what that, how old I was. But I was also pretty at a pretty young age. Okay, I'm going to stop now, and I'm going to just say, God bless you, and I hope, <laughs> I hope this is a help, you know. Okay, this time it wasn't so long. It doesn't take so long to watch. So, okay, until next time.